typically by now we'd have seen 40 to 50 icebergs uh, very easily. We've seen about 10. Iceberg season is one of the best times to visit Newfoundland and Labrador. These glacial giants are most easily spotted between May and August, but this year we're off to a slow start. What's happening basically is they're bypassing. They're just going offshore far enough that it's a bit too far to get to a boat. How close these natural wonders come to land depends on tidal currents. The icebergs leave from Greenland follow down the coast and instead of coming close to and impinging on the shore, they actually travel out into deeper water and just continue right on around the island and off into the south where they melt. Last season was, was phenomenal. I mean, we had drone footage went all over the world, actually. There was one that we saw very early in the season that I got a video dubbed at the Duck Island Iceberg. It was a regular shape and there was a hole right through the center of it. You could see right down through into the ocean. So it was, it, I've never seen that before in any icebergs. Trinity Eco Tours has seen a spike in iceberg tourism over the last five years. I don't know if it's because with global warming in 50 years there may not be any icebergs. If it's a thing that people don't that's not going to exist. Despite the late start to the season, Bartlett is optimistic the icebergs will eventually make their grand entrance. But this year is an anomaly kind of thing that next year and the year after I expect to be better. And it, this season is not over by any stretch of the imagination. It has a lot to offer yet. For the Weather Network, I'm Leanna McLean.